Hi there guys, so I hope you're all having a great holiday time over Christmas and you're not back at work already. Now this video is a Nextcloud quick tip video all about copying, moving and deleting files directly in the Nextcloud share. Sounds interesting? Then let's get started. So a super quick video here, a quick tip for Nextcloud. We all know that we can upload files to Nextcloud either through the web UI or through the Nextcloud client. And we had a look at doing that in the earlier Nextcloud videos. But are there any other ways we can get files into Nextcloud? Or if we want to bulk delete files out of Nextcloud. So now let's go across onto my Unraid server and then head across to the Shares tab. This share here that we created for Nextcloud, obviously if we open it up, it contains all of the files and folders for each user on the Nextcloud server inside a folder based on the username of the particular user. Then inside that user's folder in a subfolder called files, all of that user's files and folders are stored in there. So any files or folders that you upload through the web UI or through the desktop client or even make in Nextcloud, they end up here. OK, so we know that each user, when it's created, it makes a subdirectory here with the username and all of the files inside. So what would happen if we actually went into one of the user's folders here, into its files, and then made some changes, maybe deleted some files or uploaded some files? Could we do that and what would happen? Well, let's have a look and see. So I'm going to open up this location in this file browser here. Here's my folder here, Ed, and the files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete some files here. Let's delete these. And also in the photos folder, I'm going to add two photos. OK, so let's minimize this now and go back to Nextcloud and have a look at the files here. Well, the files we deleted, it still thinks they're here. And if I go into the photos folder here, those two photos of Siberia and Huskies that I put in here, they're not here at all. Now, the reason for that is when we upload something to Nextcloud, it adds it to the database so it knows what's where. But what we can do, we can force Nextcloud to rescan the library and therefore see any changes to the file system. So to do that, we need to go back to the Unraid Web UI, go to the Docker tab here and go to the Nextcloud container and open a console window into it. And I'm going to type sudo space hyphen u space abc then a space and php space now i'll put this in the description so you can copy and paste it but the location is forward slash config forward slash www forward slash next cloud then console php then a space and then files colon scan space hyphen hyphen all so with that command put in i'm going to hit enter and what this does is scan through all of our users folders, checking for any file system changes and making the necessary updates so we can see them in Nextcloud. Now in the command I just used, you'll notice at the end it's hyphen hyphen all. Now this scans all of the users. Now if I wanted to, instead of hyphen hyphen all, I could have just put the name of the user. So for me, the end of the command could have been files colon scan space ed. And then it would have scanned just my user folder and left all of the other user folders alone, which is useful if you've got a lot of users on the Nextcloud server or just a few users and they've got a lot of files. Just scanning the individual user will be a lot quicker. But the advantage of using hyphen hyphen all is, well, you can make changes to more than one user's files at once or just because you want to double check that all of the files are correct in the other users as well. OK, so let's check and see if that's fixed it. So I'm going to close this window now and I'm going to go back to Nextcloud. And now if I refresh this page, we can see these files have gone. There's two recent photos here. And so if I go onto my Photos tab here, we can see these two files have been added. OK, great. So it's all working. So there are a few reasons why you might want to add files or delete files using this method. And one is you've got an old Nextcloud instance that's no longer working and have been files uploaded there in the past, well, you can recreate all of the users on the new Nextcloud server 
and then copy the old data from the broken Nextcloud, pop it into the user's files, rescan the files, and then you've recreated your Nextcloud with the users and the data. And another reason might be as the administrator of the Nextcloud server, you might have a time when you need to actually delete some data from inside some users' folders. So you can easily do that without having to actually access the individual accounts. You can do it locally on the Nextcloud server, then rescan the files, and all's good. And obviously, you just might want to upload a whole bunch of data to your own account this way, because you don't want to use the client or you don't want to use the web UI. Now, like I've said before, it is possible to be able to link whole shares from the Unraid server into your Nextcloud and share them out to users or even people just on the internet who don't have Nextcloud. And that's what we're going to be looking at in the next video. And I'll be uploading that video, I think, on Thursday now. But if you enjoyed this Nextcloud quick tip video, I'd really appreciate you hitting up that like button. And if you're not a subscriber and you like this video, hey, maybe this video persuaded you. It's worth subscribing. Anyway, guys, I just want to say to all of my patrons and supporters, Thank you so much, guys, for all of your support. I really couldn't do this without you. And just thanks to everyone who watches my videos. I hope you all had a great Christmas and you're going to have a great New Year too. Well, for now, it's time for me to go. But whatever you're up to for the rest of the day, I hope it's good. And I'll catch you in the next video.